What are you doing? Cheer mom things. The cheer yeah. mom things. Yeah. Show them. You're making all the cheer girls. They they won a gold bid to this competition, which is a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. So Part they are getting custom bows. That's right, with their names on them. Well, something like that. Our daughter, Harper Lynn, she's a big cheerleading girl. And Mama's one of the team leading mamas. I am the cheer mom, Dad. Pretty cute. Yeah! Oh! Uh, I bet you guys have always wondered what my wife thinks about the yo-ho-hos. And if you like them or not. Tell the viewers at home, what do you think about the yo -ing? It's a loaded question. It's a loaded question. Like when you're doing it, it's fine. But then, like yes, earlier when I went downstairs and you were editing. I was like, ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. You should ask the people what they like. Uh, they like it. I've asked it a used lot. To be, it used to be a much more subtle yo. Yeah. It's kind of gotten more like raspy. Like, is there something stuck in your throat? <laughs> Are you cough? Are you hacking? <laughs> oh, quit it. It's the Bobby guy way. A little Look, bit of rasp. Now you're insecure about it. You no, I'm it. not insecure. I'm going to keep doing it. That's what I'm going to do. Anyways, welcome back to another one, guys. Uh, one of the first fishing videos of the season and just in time check it out <laughs> yeah yeah gifts for dad gifts for dad look at that okay you distracted me and i may have burnt something oh no oh come on fred come on buddy what is that what is it yeah. you want to see what it is bodie and i have been wondering Bodie and I have been wondering. These are my new fishing rods. My new Guggen fishing rods, that is. Uh, if you guys want to check out all of what Guggen has to offer, fishing rods, baits, I will link uh, the Guggen website down in the description below. Use code BOBBY at checkout to save yourself some money. It'll save them some money, won't it, Frederick? Oh, yeah, you guarantee it. Baits, rods, gear, fishing tackle boxes, everything you need for fishing. Let's open this bad boy up. I'm excited. Oh, well, there's only one in here. I think I ordered two. Uh, and that's all there is. Must be another one coming. Oh, holy, she's a beauty, I can tell. This is the Gold Series Guggen Rod. This is a muscle. I got the 7.5 Heavy Extra Fast. It's the Gold Series Rod. Oh yeah. That's Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta get a reel for it, but you guys gotta drop a comment down below. What reel should I put on this bad boy? What a good looking rod that is. So yeah, gold series, this is a casting rod. Again, y'all have to tell me what reel to put on this bad boy. Drop a comment down below and tell me. That is a beautiful rod. My goodness, super light. Cannot wait to get to using it. Now in this video that y'all are about to watch, I was hoping that these would come in time for it, but it didn't. Big shout out to Guggen. Uh, if you guys wanna check them out, again, the, all of their fishing supplies, all of their fishing baits, rods, everything is quality products. Check it out. Again, use code Bobby at checkout to save yourself some money but let's get into this old catch clean cook it was fun well 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 mixing it up on y'all we're trying to catch something to cook and eat tonight that's for sure old bradley he got close a couple times did you what'd you catch a bass uh girl's already hooked up down there what are you doing you got the you've done this before what are you using for bait? Uh, spinner bait? We got a spinner on. Oh, a big spinner. Right on. I just got me a little rooster spinner. Beetle spin is what it's called, actually. Let's roll. A rooster spinner. A rooster spinner. Leave it to Bob. A little water turkey action up there. Is there a comrade? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice one, dude. Large mouth on the board, dude. He hit it right at the bank. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. Your boy's on the board. 
man i haven't caught a good bass in a long time that's what's up nice little pound and a halfer you know big old mouth on them healthy looking fish we will see you later bud well there we go we're one on the board i'm definitely not going to keep a large mouth and eat it tonight that's for show that was awesome he hit it right here barely got the camera on try that again try that again they're hitting up close to the bank here felt him nail it way out there come on baby he's bigger come on baby uh maybe he ain't bigger i just have a piece of salad on there with him there we go <laughs> he felt bigger Old salad juking trick. There we go. There we are. Little guy. Man, it feels good. Water's cold. What is it? About fi what it 50 degrees right now, Gerald? Probably close, maybe just under here. Yep. Later, buddy. Gerald just caught a pretty nice one. We are on. Ripping lips on the largies today, boys. Oh, I had it number three another small one man good bass fishing out here this is fun number three Gerald has three I don't know about Preston and Bradley down yonder well there we go still not an old large marge like I'm looking for but not a bad fish at all oh yeah but uh, this little lake is beautiful this is where y'all have seen a lot of duck hunts, uh, duck and goose hunts that is. One memor one very, very memorable one was uh, Preston, Bradley, and myself right over there on that bank where that group of trees is. Yeah, that was an icy hunt with Frederick. Y'all have to go back and watch that one if you haven't seen it. I will try to remember to put it at the end of this video so you guys can click on it and watch it because it was an amazing hunt. First, first eater crappie. We're down here on the spillway. Oh, come on now. Oh, there we go. We're gonna keep us some eaters and we're cooking them up tonight, boys and gals. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The spillway, this is it. It's uh, the spillway to the big lake we're fishing, right over the big dam. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's another one, boys. Look at Bradley up there. Ay ay ay! Ripping lips, boys, with the beetle spin. <laughs> Oh, there we go. What do we got? We got a bass this time. Little bitty guy. You're crazy, dude. Do you fall down? Will you come save me? Uh, I was going to be mean, but I'd have to come save you for sure. Yeah. Snag him. <laughs> Snag him. <laughs> See you, little guy. Oh, he choked her, boys. We're definitely going to have to eat that one. Come on. Yeah, we go, we're going to have some good crappie fry. That's three in the bag. Well, I got to get them off the hook, but biggest one of the day. That's a good looking crappie, boys. We'll get a little stringer and I can hold them up for a good old thumbnail. Man, oh my, that's a nice haul right there, boys. How many to what a total did we do? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten crappies and a good old, big old, big old panfish. Good size, dude. Blue gale. Oh, big old blue gale, yeah. Not bad for the spillway. Yeah, just a little pond. Uh, all these came from that little spillway pond. This is going to be some good eating. Yeah. You going to do do your frying deal like always? Oh, yeah. Dude, it's good. Are you doing the beer batter? Fire. Yeah, Cajun beer batter. Cajun beer batter? You're kidding me. I ain't shitting you. He's not shitting. I wouldn't shit you. You're my favorite turd. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, it's getting thick out here. Uh, anyways, we're going to put the camera down before I make any mistakes or get a, get a little too squirrely. Yeah. Bradley still has to shoot a bird. He cut that out. And yeah. tonight, which I'm sure on this video... Uh, the turkey hunt giveaway winners will be here in a few hours, so 
We're gonna have to post. We're gonna have to postpone my. Yeah, we're gonna have to postpone your efforts. Yeah, we'll get one. We were close this morning. It was really close. I, I thought, thought it was, was gonna dumb. work out. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they came around the corner and they started corralling the hens, it looked like they were coming right towards us. Yeah, I was like, oh, hell yeah, we're gonna be in the money. It's the way she goes. Gerald's. It was. It had to balance out. That was too easy yesterday. We needed some hardship. Exactly. We had to get humbled up a little bit. Yesterday, if you all seen the last video. Gerald literally just could have gave you the gun and you would have shot that other long beard. Yeah. Neither of us thought about it. You we were both, ready to, you were like, oh, <laughs> we fist bump! We both sat there so pumped up as he's sitting there pecking <laughs> at it. Uh, well, That's fun. We'll get one. Yeah, it'll happen. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. The old crappie's really good. Do. It's perfect. You did a good job. Turned out good. Stank up the house a little bit. It did. Your dad's gonna deal with you. Uh huh. For doing that. I found out there was a burner in the garage afterwards. <laughs> he said, "Are you making a mess?" No, Dad. We didn't catch many. <laughs> Only catch ten. Yeah, right at ten. Real good though. Just a good old. That's a Cajun beer batter. Doesn't oh. have a whole lot of spice to it. No, tell them about your Cajun beer batter. Uh, soak the fish in salt water, into beer batter, or sorry, into batter, and then back into uh, an egg wash, and then back into the batter, and then into the fryer. There you go. Well, yo! <laughs> Come on, Frederick. Come on. Oh, uh, we're in the lodge. I uh, wanted to let you all know. Um, of course, we're back home now. Hope you guys enjoyed the fishing. Uh, that was my first fishing adventure of the entire season. Uh, and I got my new rod that y'all have already seen. Had a casualty. Had a rod casualty. I will show you here in a minute. But I wanted to let y'all know, uh, y'all have been asking about the lodge videos. We're going to have some new uh, renovations, some new projects to do at the lodge. And one of them is adding a bunch of windows i think we're gonna add i have had so many people tell me to bobby put a window in right here at the door now i've had mixed feelings about this door a lot of people have said hey don't worry about the door it doesn't look that bad um but i need to spiff it up it is just a garage door it's useful because when it's real nice during the season we open it up halfway and have the sun coming in here, have the jams going. And right there in the corner, that's where the Christmas tree goes. So when the Christmas tree's there, the door don't look too bad, but we're gonna put a window in there. We put a window in over there. And right here is gonna be the new doorway going out on the north side to where all the new parking, there'll be a patio, lots of projects to come. And I mean lots. Um, I'm gonna need y'all's help on those videos uh, for just good old recommendations for the lodge. I couldn't have, I could have, but I couldn't have built this lodge as good as it is today without y'all's help last summer. Y'all had so many great tips for me that I took them and I ran with it. Which, mind you, if you guys have any vintage duck hunting stuff, decoys, oh, what'd I do? I just messed it up. Decoys, old duck hunting memorabilia, anything anything that can be decor in the lodge we still have a little bit of room all these old decoys are are from y'all every single one of them um every single one of them i haven't showed you this this is i was going to do a video on this but this is one of the oddest oddest things that y'all have ever sent me um by far look at this thing if y'all follow my uh, Instagram and Sandhills Instagram, uh, y'all would have seen this by now. That is a whitetail butt hind in upside down, and it looks like an Ewok. <laughs> One of the creepiest things I've ever received. You can imagine when you come in here, you're like, you're just a client. You're like, oh yeah, I'm glad to be here. You come in and turn on the light. That's the first thing you see. How creepy is that? And then when you come around this corner, it's like, Oh, God, what's that, Bob? <laughs> uh, creepy, creepy stuff. 
creepy stuff. But if you guys want to send something for the lodge, old vintage pictures, old mounts, old anything new, anything, it doesn't have to be vintage. The P.O. box is always linked down in the description below every single video. Come on, Fred. Let's go show them our casualty. Camping season's here. Y'all can't see the camper yet. No, no, no. Getting ready to do our first big trip with it and the boat. We had a slight incident and it kind of really, not kind of, it, it makes me really sad to be honest. So the other day I went and closed the garage door and what's next to the garage door? Oh, my fishing rods. Look what happened. This was my first, yeah, completely snapped her off, Frederick. Look at that, buddy. Ah, that's my Abu Garcia Veritas. Yeah, not a cheap rod at all. This was my first expensive rod I ever bought. And one of the only ones I've ever bought. So I guess we're going to take this Abu Garcia reel. It's a casting reel, obviously. I'm going to throw it on the Guggen rod. And uh, I really like the reel. I really, really, really liked that rod and reel combo. But this bad boy right here, we'll go ahead and slap it on there. And I'll be using this in one of the next fishing videos. I want to tell you guys, also, uh, I have an awesome... I hope it turns out good. It has to because it was an awesome hunt slash fish. Bow fishing. Y'all have been requesting bow fishing forever. It'll be one of the next videos that go up. Uh, my buddy Wade, y'all know who he is. He bought a bow fishing boat and rigs. I just bought a bow fishing bow. It was so much fun. I think we shot like 20. So be expecting that video. And like I said, the whole lodge updating situation, like I've been saying, all these decoys, all the hunting equipment has to go. It's got to get out of here. We got big plans outside that I don't want to show you yet. Big things happening, y'all. But subscribe if you haven't. We're going to be doing this all season long. Off season videos will uh, pertain to fishing. Magnet fishing is firing up. Uh, camping, boating, a little bit of hunting. Turkey season's kind of done. Might go get it done on one more bird. Thank you all for being here. Me and Frederick, we really do appreciate y'all coming and seeing our ugly mugs every week. Remember y'all, been trying to upload every other day even in the off season during the regular season that's the upload schedule every other day during the off season it gets a little hard not gonna lie so i really hope that you guys are enjoying the videos let me know what you want to see down in the comments i know you guys want to see the magnet fishing believe me it's coming i'm ready to get after it and my dad y'all know him he's ready ben he was born ready to magnet fish baby but please, I don't say it enough, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, all your guys' uh, kind support goes so far. And I want to say thank you so much for always being here. Again, this video was sponsored by Guggen. Uh, if you guys want to check out any of the rods like the one I just got, any of the baits, hard baits, soft baits, plastics, uh, all their gear, hats, hoodies, I will link all the Guggen merch down in the description below. Go check it out and use code BOBBY at checkout to save yourself some money. You can use that code as many times as you want. Fishing videos will get better, I promise. We'll see y'all on the next one, won't we, Fred? You can tell old Fred he's ready to pigeon hunt. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.